Hey Jackal! Today I'll show you how to apply chromatic operation to a video that can also be black and white by using DaVinci Resolve. And this will be done in the edit page. If you want to know how to do it in the Fusion page, I will leave a link in the description below and I will also pop a card on the screen. Now let's get digital. So this is a music video for Bad Apple. It's in black and white. So I'll show you how to do it on this video. So you will simply go to the media pool, put the clip on, and then you'll go to the effects. Under the effects, you'll want to type in chromatic operation and you'll have to go to the open effects. Then put the chromatic operation onto a clip. And that's it. But you don't see anything. You'll have to go to the inspector tab and adjust some options. We have three options. By default, they go from minus one to one. So let's see what we can make. We'll have to zoom in to see the differences and the biggest difference will be where we have the contrast. So in this case we have a green and purple color. We can change this up so we can have a blue one and the red one and the yellow one and the blue one. But if I zoom out this is really subtle. So what we can do to make this more visible is go to the advanced. Now as you can see you can't make any changes but what you can do is enable the stronger correction. So enable it and now we can set this value to minus three by default but if you want to increase it just a little bit more this goes to minus five to five. So if I type in minus 13 you can see it jumped to minus five. On the bottom you have the edge now this will be more visible since we have a bigger edge and if I adjust this edge now you can see that it also can expand the edge. I like the yellow operation, so I'll make some adjustments, maybe like this. We have basically all of the colors with this setup, depending on how they overlap. Now this video is not 1080p, so it doesn't fit into the whole screen. We could go to the transform and zoom it in. That's not what I want to do. And to get rid of these lines, we can adjust the crop value. Now, just by knowing this, nothing will happen, at least for a long time. So what I'll do is I'll adjust the value by a tiny bit, and I will also adjust the softness. So 70 from the left, and 70 from the right, and about 10 softness looks good. Now this looks good, and what you can also do is in the effects, go to the abrasion and adjust the abrasion color to the beat. So you could simply keyframe everything, listen to the music, and adjust the values to what you want. And now again, as you can see, this jumped back to 3, to default, so if you want to increase it, you'll have to type in 5. Now that's how you can apply the chromatic operation to a completely black and white footage, but does that mean that you can't apply it to a footage like this one? You can, and you can also copy it, so I'll select this video, copy it, use Alt-V to paste it, and I'll use plugins. As you can see the effect has been applied, and also the animation has been applied. But in this case the clip is not long enough, to reach the animation, but what you can also do, you can turn any clip to a black and white footage. So we'll go to effects, type in color, and we'll use color compressor. Simply put this onto a clip, select the compressed saturation, increase it to one, the clip is now black and white. The only thing that you have to do is put the color compressor above the abrasion. So first this will happen, and then the abrasion will happen. And now as you can see, you have the effect applied. And that's how easily it is to apply chromatic abrasion in DaVinci Resolve inside the edit page. And if you found this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackal, keep it digital.